So Rick and I got together this afternoon and we were gonna film a, a cool kind of beginnings of my new bumper for the back of the Bronco. We did some cutting with my skill saw and a metal cutting blade. It didn't work out. So I'm gonna wait till he brings his chop saw home from work and some other stuff. So that, that didn't work out. However, we wanted to do a little bit of a scouting mission and see how far we could get up one of the roads. Yeah, so we'll cruise up uh, Still Creek and see what's happening up there. I went up there probably a month ago and the game was still, in fact, I don't think I even made it. I think I ran into down trees and a variety of other things. And with road 20 being closed, it kind of adds to the... Yeah. Yeah, it makes it a little tougher. Yeah. I nice if they put that bridge back in. It's only been out 20 years now, so yeah. or 15 at least. Yeah, chances are quite good it's never going to happen again. But. Yeah. Which is silly. kind of the first domino to fall that I remember. Yep. I got a car my way. Yeah, I did this way. Runs any better. I'm hoping we'll both end this. That's the beauty of a GoPro is you get to guess. Yeah. And when and if this one croaks, which given my treatment of it is almost assured. Oh yeah. Well it's, it's, it's gonna be on the most back spectacular thing you've ever filmed in your life yes and you'll uh yeah it's likely i'll never find the camera so it'll be complete waste oh, but yeah that's true gosh it's getting dark quick yeah it's only 3 15 ish yeah the overcast makes a huge difference yeah so we're progressing on our still creek adventure we passed gate number one so we'll see how far we get up here yeah. I would imagine we are not going to make it to the lamp. That sounded very metallic. I wonder what that was. Oh, you know what it was? It was the mousetrap. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, of all ears. <laughs> I got the drawers back there. Uh huh. And I found one mouse nest. Yeah. But I didn't find a mouse. Okay. So, Dana and I went camping. And I found a second mouse nest. Well, that even to me yeah. <laughs> indicates yeah. you have a mouse yeah. living in your yeah. car. I don't like the way this is trending. <laughs> right. So I went to Ace Hardware. Is it True Value or Ace? Uh, it's Sandy. Sandy. It's Ace, I think. Anyway, went to the hardware store and got these kind of mouse traps that you crank them and put tension on them. Uh -huh. And they're like a little. Yeah, I don't know. so you never have to actually see what you did to the mouse. You can just. Correct. There's yeah. a dead mouse inside and you yeah. throw it away. Uh huh. Uh, I bought two. Yeah, yeah, no tying it to a string and swinging around your head at work, <laughs> stuff like that. Exactly. Not that that was going to happen, but I'm sure you're no. speaking from experience. I've so, things that might my first mouse trap captured something. I didn't investigate. Yeah. Uh, assumption is it was a mouse. Yeah. But that thing that just scared us just now was, I'm guessing, my second mouse. Yeah. They're not made for vibrate. Wow, yeah. this bridge is looking pretty sweet. Yeah. Huh. That? this one at all no Not like this that's really nice yeah okay well i guess i gotta stop talking crap about the forest service or at least tone yeah. it down for the rest of the drive it's probably a renegade freelance bridge <laughs> yeah it was a volunteer yeah yeah their court case comes up pretty soon right fucking with the forest they had actually it. putting something in that made the government look bad we had a spare bridge we didn't know yeah. what to do with it we are getting into the snow yeah. in June. Just to be clear. What is it? What is it? June 12th? Yeah. June 11th? June 12th. Oh my gosh, it's June. We got snow. I just got to make sure that we have a lock tub. There we go. Lock this one in go from freedom to lock that way when and if this whole thing goes kaput on us oh my gosh it's really coming down out there yeah and we're still recording we'll see how this gosh there's mud all over the camera body and whatever like i said i just didn't want to frantically grab for the four-wheel drive selector and 
up short on that deal. Yeah. In fact, we're gonna do what I normally do and put stuff Just in four-wheel drive be proactive. before we need it. Yeah. And we're in the snow. It would've been nice to be with that. But you'll have to trust us. I'm filming me driving through. Oh, we are getting some windfall here though. Yeah. Knock that new roof. Ooh, look at that little Widowmaker right there. Okay, things are getting a little more complicated. Oh, <laughs> I guess we found the other guy. Yep. Well, we'll go up there and see what he's up to. Yep. Well, this is as far as we're going to make it, fellas. There's the car. There's Rick. And here's my new friend that decided to park in the middle of the street. And we're going to take a short walk. Rick and I already walked up here a couple minutes ago. And believe it or not, it's June 12th, 2022. And we're walking through the snow. Well, a short little snow drift here in the Mount Hood it National still Forest. Snow. It it's still snow. It counts. You're right. Up. Yeah, already. You can't keep a good skunk cabbage down as you can see what we're up against is this rotten wet snow if you know anything about snow june is not a good time to try to drive through it so and i'm seeing yeah somebody's up here walking their dog and it's a sunday afternoon so there's going to be no traffic up here oh yeah we're walking on a couple feet of snow here this was our video for this week, we thought we could sneak through the Still Creek Road, backside of Trillium Lake in the Mount Hood National Forest. And once again, well, once again, I wasn't shut down by a gate. However, I was shut down by nature, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, whatever. So, I appreciate you. Even without the guy in the road, we'd have stuck before too much longer. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Well, we would have, and then we would have been pulling witch line. Well, yeah. At some point. Yeah. But and then it's a coin coin toss of, well, we already lynched. We could get the rest of the way. Yep. No reason to turn around now. I mean, I've never fallen into that trap, but whatever. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so I appreciate you joining me, and like I said, I'm going to spend the rest of the weekend building a new hearth for my pellet stove. So, but I did want to put out some sort of content. And hopefully you see some cool river stuff and maybe some tires and hoods and stuff like that. And I hope you tune in next week for more, well, less than average adventuring or low production value. I don't know. I we'll see. Call it filler. Yeah, filler. <laughs> Sorry, little camera.